Alrighty, it is the living room panner and I am sitting in my living room doing a little panning. Alright, right now we're going to try a little sluicing. I got my mini sluice all set up and uh, we're going to see what we can do about finding some gold here. The other day I had a couple of three pound bags from Gold Bay and uh, I showed it to y'all. I classified it all down and oh. Hold on. Before I move on to that, YouTube is no way affiliated, sponsoring, or endorsing. This is all me. All right, folks. Welcome, new people. And uh, I appreciate all the new subs out there and hope y'all enjoy the content. I know y'all were wondering, hey, he's called the living room panner, but I ain't never seen him do any panning. So here it is, folks. I see a little gold chunk right there, a picker in this one. So this is my plus 10 minus quarter which I got just a little bitty bit of quarter out of it plus quarter then this is my minus 10 plus 20 and this is my minus 20 the fine stuff and uh, I forget I seem like those bags were I don't know a hundred bucks or so this was probably a couple of months ago and uh, anyway so we've got this all concentrated down and we're going to uh, classified down and we're going to run it through the little mini sluice and then we're going to pan it out so got some little playing with some shiny today all right uh, next thing is is uh, I'm trying something new I'm not using uh, I'm using my my video maker on my phone instead of the YouTube deal and I'm going to try and pause and and uh, bring y'all in when necessary, and we'll see how this comes out. I have no idea what I'm doing, so bear with me, folks. All right, let's do it. We're going to start off. I'm going to save all that plus 10, and we're going to do all that that stuff. Or, right, I'm sorry, the, uh, the minus quarter plus 10. Yeah, we're going to save that and do that straight into the... Uh, the pan so right now I'm going to run this this uh mm, what is it a plus uh minus 10 plus 20 and here we go folks oh man look at that I see gold already in there y'all seeing that let's zoom in a little bit more trying to get this camera just right there's gold all over in here all over there's gold in there so this definitely is some good stuff so let's run this last little bit here my old orange bucket over here is getting quite a bit of concentrates in it that's been uh, cleaned so you know I never throw anything away I always go through all my cons three times so everything in this orange bucket back here right over here is an orange bucket that everything goes into and then I got a recycling pool down in the bottom I'll go through it all again someday so I'm seeing glow gold in there it's moving around a little bit for the most part it's staying where it needs to stay and there's some close-ups of it cleaning out right nicely this prospector's choice uh mini sluice i really like it it's got it's got four different levels on it to catch the gold and uh you get the water set just right and it runs pretty good but look at all that gold in there loaded all right so that was the plus 10 uh or the minus uh, i get so confused anyways i that was the uh plus 10 minus 20 no minus uh anyways it was it was some gold dirt classified gold dirt i got junior in here and i'm losing my concentration but it's all good Sorry, this Dad. is it this is the uh the minus 20 so that other that we just ran was the the plus 10 minus 20 this is the uh 
the minus 20, the smallest stuff. So, there we go. We're going to run this now. Hopefully I don't flush out any of my gold. And we've got my old scooper here. And y'all recognize this little scooper from my nugget bucket. And this is going to be much finer stuff in there. By the way, while I'm running this, let me give you all a little update. I do have uh, five games still going on my channel right now. I've got a uh, $2 mini. I've got a uh, $5 semi mini. And I've got a $10 big time mini raffle going on. And I also have the 54 card draw. There's still, I think, 30, 30 cards or so left in that deal. And I have the secret envelope. The mystery envelope deal and that's the $15 deal so if anybody wants to get in on any of those fun games just look me up most of y'all know my gmail and know what to do and know the procedures uh, I've got the COVID-19 box there's a little flake down there trying to get away that's why you always run your your cleanups Two or three times because you do lose a flake or two here and there it happens you can't catch it all but you can catch most of it so and and i like to clean this little sluice out when it gets quite a bit of gold in it because i'm scared i'm losing some but in, considering i've got such a small amount to run i'm gonna go ahead and run it all before i do a clean out and then uh I'll probably stop the video here shortly and then I'll restart it when we get the uh, my panning but my panning uh, set up all ready and then we'll start the video again but uh, the COVID relief box it left uh, Marshall Vincent I think Friday and it should be coming to Scott Jarbe uh, he's next on the list you should be getting that this week Scott and then right after you, I'd like for you to forward it to AU Family. He, AU Family Prospecting wants it. And if you need some shipping info or anything, just let me know and I'll help you out with that. And if anybody else wants to get in on that deal, there's still time. I was wanting to do the big giveaway on Labor Day weekend. So we got almost a whole month to pass that box around. And uh, so if anybody would like to, let me know. I mean, you got to pay the $15 to ship it forward, and you got to include a giveaway prize. But other than that, that's all you're in for. It. Uh, oh, and also, you got to make a video showing when you receive it and the contents and what have you. So, that COVID box is a pretty good idea. I'm surprised I don't have more people involved with that. But uh, y'all look around. I know Ron F. had it. Mad Hatter had it, Sherry Ward had it, Nickel and Dime had it, uh, Marshall had it, Scott's getting it, and along the way everybody's putting in giveaway prizes, so it's a fun thing to get in on, we're going to have a big giveaway here real soon, so y'all interested in that seven, I mean in that COVID box, let me know, we'll get your name on the list, and Scott can send it to you from him. I'm seeing a lot of gold in here, folks. A lot. This little sluice, man. It's an awesome little mini sluice. I got me a new uh, recycl uh, recirculating bucket, too, that I use to capture my water. And it's about half the size of the one I had. I used to take 11 gallons. Now it only takes about 5 or 6. So it's much easier and quicker to set up uh, considering my little grandson comes around at unknown times. I need to be able to bell and run and put all this stuff up real quick like if he shows up, you know. So I'm trying to think of a way to do it where it's a little bit more convenient, you know. And I think this setup might work a little better. Anyways, uh... Another announcement on my 750 sub giveaway. Uh, you know, you gain a few, you lose a few. I gained quite a few in the last four or five days. And then 
uh, last night or so I lost two but I gained one more back this morning so uh, it happens I'm at 660 right now on my subs and uh, probably do another push this coming weekend and just trying to get to 750 and folks it's going to be an awesome giveaway I did do a video here a few days ago with all the items from the 750 deal and we're at like 22 items on the on the list of prizes and man there's everything from gold gold dirt silver of all different types copper it's just a, a big bunch of different good stuff it's a lot of prizes so if y'all can shout me out if you can't just be there and support and enjoy the show you know so appreciate each and every one of y'all on that deal all right that's going to take care of that all right, I'm fixing to stop this video for a few minutes. We're going to do a little cleanup of this sluice and get our, get all this here gold fines into one pan. And we're going to pan all this out. So I'll be back, Jack. All right. All righty, we are back with part two. That wasn't very long. That just took about, what, half a second? All right, thank y'all for being patient and waiting with me here. And now we've got these concentrates all down to the bottom of the pan here. And folks, I went ahead and mixed it with the uh, plus 10 stuff. So I got all that fines that I run through my sluice. And then that little bit I had in the pan from the plus 10. So first thing we're going to do is stratify. And y'all know what that means. Shake it up, baby. Shake it up. Got to shake it up and get it all floating around in there so that all the heavy stuff goes straight down to the bottom. All that black sand and gold and heavies, maybe even a chunk of lead or you just never know. All that heavy's going straight down though. All right, there it is, folks. Let me get rid of this here uh, cancer stick. And we'll get on to finding some shiny. Here we go. All right, we're going to start the process here. Slowly, gingerly uh, float it all out of there. All them heavies, all the, or I'm sorry, all the lights. And keeping a very close eye on it as I'm doing this because I do not want to lose a flake. But if I do, you know I'm going to find it. I never let it go. Well, I've got buckets and buckets of stuff that I've already run. And someday I'll run it all again on my big sluice. I got that big sluice set up, but never have ran it. Someday I'm thinking about building me a nice little mini sluice set up. And uh, maybe a double or triple layer or something. I really like that Prospector's Choice mini sluice. It's a nice cleanup sluice for uh, minus 10 stuff. It works real well. You start getting anything above that, the bigger stuff clogs it up. Most of these mini sluices that are out there do. They'll, they'll get clogged up real easy with anything above 10, which that's pretty normal. So, most of the concentrates you buy nowadays online, there's not, maybe less than 25% of it is going to be above 10 or or even bigger than that you know there's not that much most people have it between between 10 and 20 the bulk of it but you never know every every seller is different but the go-to people i use is pretty consistent so i just keep working it back down into the corner this is my technique everybody does it differently keep on keeping keep that gold in the bottom we're going to get to the bottom of this sucker real quick like this video is getting on up there. And I know there's, shoot, there's a bunch of gold in here. I don't know how much. I have to dry it all out and weigh it. I'll post it on this video in comments later. So I hope this uh, pausing it and everything is working out okay. We'll just have to see. This may be the way to go. I really want to learn to become more technical that uh giveaway that ron f did the other day it was it was the next step from being a live stream i don't know how he pulled that off the way he did his content his presentation everything about it 
the problem is folks I don't have any internet uh, connection out here where I live so I do everything off of my phone I don't have a laptop I don't even own one so someday my my boss buddy guy has been telling me hey you need to get a router you know you can get internet via a router real cheap per month you know so I may look into that and investing in a laptop get a camera a speaker and all that stuff and get a little bit better setup you know well I'm seeing the shiny folks there is some shiny in this here pan no question about it work out that black sand that old heavy black sand it loves staying in there with that gold it's almost as heavy but you know what it ain't it comes out and I'm seeing some little flower spots in there trying to walk out on me shake it back down and work it back up and get it all out of there and this is my technique I know y'all see it the swirls and the swashing and the back and forth and whatever but hey if you got the time and the patience there's nothing more enjoyable than cleaning it up your final right here and working all that black sand out of there. It's the trickiest part of the whole process. And let me tell you, it's it's the best part. When you know you work very hard to get it all clean, then you got nothing but gold in there. That's a very satisfying feeling. So I work very hard to get it out. It's possible. It's nothing's impossible. And uh and it's getting there and that's probably close to a gram of gold in there it looks like it I think it said on the bag it was a uh, one plus gram uh, 103 percent ROI is what he claimed and I think it was a pretty good bag looks like quite a bit of gold in there just keep on working that black out of there a little bit left in the edges there oh just lost a nugget Pretty big one too. You know what? I better find it. All right, there it is, folks. So I'm not even gonna. Let's see. I might. Nah, I'm not gonna dig that nugget out right now. I'll wait for my water to clear up, and I'll get it out later. But there it is, folks. That's what I got out of that bag from Gold Bay. Not bad, probably a gram, maybe. It's supposed to be a, a one gram bag, so I'm sure it is. Oh, Dave over there, he's pretty reliable. So I hope you all enjoyed that little video, a uh, little panning video, and I appreciate it if y'all hit the like button. And uh, don't forget, I got all my games and everything going on. If anybody would like to get on any of that fun stuff, and I appreciate y'all's patience and setting through this video. All right, we all have a great day, and that was a pretty nice result clean up there. So uh, we will holler at y'all later. Later, taters.